crazy criticism of Ling Yun's sect accepting a young junior sister. Legend has it that the young junior sister is gentle and well-behaved, kind and considerate. She is a little fairy who emerges from the mud without staining among the crazy criticisms. Later the cultivators looked up to the sky and cried. Legend has misled me. Little Junior Sister's divine level ferocious beast group is full of deceit and tyranny. The young Junior Sister's dominant cannibalistic flower was chewed crunchily by a group of cultivators. Little Junior Sister's immortal beast, Little Phoenix, either sets fire to their sect or steals their spiritual stone mines. Little Junior Sister Junior Sister, you are too cruel. The unbearable cultivators crowdfunded and begged in front of the Divine Lord, Lord Divine Lord, please take care of Madam. For the first time, the esteemed deity turned his gaze to them, like a nine netherworld, extremely dangerous. My wife, I'm used to it. Chapter 1 Careful Calculation You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The night falls low, and a circular silver moon hangs high in the night sky. In Shuazhou City, on the border of Shinwu Kingdom, there is a relatively cool courtyard in the rear mansion of Sita Mansion, one of the four major families. Murong Ranyue was crawling on the ground, covered in blood and covered in scars. She propped up her arms and looked up at Situ Yen, who was holding a whip and had a sinister expression on her face. Even her flesh and blood hung on the thorn of the whip. Cousin, why? Blood oozed from the corner of her mouth and Murong Ranyue's eyes were filled with fear and confusion. Why did her cousin, who has always treated her well, suddenly hurt her today and act so viciously and viciously? Why? Situ Yen seemed to have heard something extremely funny and looked up with a coquettish smile, especially sarcastic as she said, Murong Ranyue, don't you think we've been raising you for years and really consider you a relative? What does it mean? Murong Ranyue's eyes were full of confusion. Her aunt had once said that she was her mother's dying orphan, so she had been living in the Sita mansion for so many years, and her aunt had treated her as if she were her own. I really think so. Situ Yen exaggeratedly covered her mouth and mocked, then looked at Murong Ranyue's beautiful face with an extremely disgusted and jealous look, and said fiercely, Your parents have offended those who cannot afford to be chaste. It was your mother who knelt down in front of me with a spiritual stone treasure and begged for my mother. My mother was kind-hearted and reluctantly agreed to raise you. Situ Yen sneered with contempt in her eyes. This statement is of course false. If it weren't for the abundance of treasures given by this little slut's mother and her mother's ulterior motives, she would have agreed to keep them. What? Murong Ranyue suddenly looked at her and reached out in disbelief to grab Situ Yan's hand to confirm, but she quickly dodged and kicked her to the ground. Murong Ranyue seemed unaware of the pain on her body and instead urgently asked, So how is my father? How's it going? Situ Yan said these words playfully, admiring Murong Ranyue's anxiety before casually saying, Dead, what else can we do? Boom as if a thunderbolt echoed in my mind. Ran Yu stayed in place, tears streaming down her face. She always knew that her mother was gone, but she also kept thinking that her father was still there. As long as she waited here obediently, one day her father would come to pick her up. Even if her father didn't come to pick her up, she could still go find her father when she woke up to her Xianling body at the age of fifteen. But now, she heard this sunny and thunderous fact. Situ Yen lowered her body and gave a malicious smirk to Ran Yu. Of course, after letting you eat and drink for so many years, you should give something in return, right? Today, you're going to awaken the Xianling body, my Xianling cultivator. Xianling cultivator. Situ Yen wants to take her Xianling. So the real purpose of my aunt taking her in and raising her is this. All warmth is fake. They are planning everything for this day. Murong Ranyue, who was stunned by the news from her parents, instantly turned pale. She looked at Situ Yan's eyes, which seemed to have been poisoned, and was extremely shocked. People in Shinwu Kingdom are born to guard against beasts. When they reach the age of fifteen, they awaken the body of Xianling. Xianling has six levels. 
lower, middle, upper, holy, immortal, and divine. The higher the level, the more beasts they will be able to guard in the future. It can be said that Xianling is the foundation for the people of Shenwu Kingdom to establish themselves. And there happens to be a technique in this world that can improve the level of one's own mystical spirit by devouring the mystical spirit of others. However, this cultivation method is too evil and has long been destroyed and disappeared. Situ Yen actually knows. No. No. You can't. Murong Ranyue shook her head and supported herself to step back. She couldn't lose Xianling, Situ Yen must be deceiving her. She's going to find her dad. Hee <laughs> hee. Situ Yen laughed like a demon, watching her struggle pointlessly, holding her whip and approaching step by step. Yenner, don't talk nonsense to her, are you ready? A woman dressed in splendid attire walked out of the darkness. Muron ran you looked over and saw her usually kind aunt looking at her with a disdainful expression on her face, her gaze icy, as if looking at ants. Mom, I'm ready. Situ Yen had an impatient expression on her face. My mother once said that this dead girl's mother's talent is extraordinary. The dead girl inherited her bloodline, and the quality of the Xianling will definitely not be low. As long as she devours it, the Xianling will definitely upgrade. Okay. After the mother and daughter finished speaking, Chi Chi looked at Murong Ranua, who was still moving back in vain. His cold and evil gaze was like looking at a lamb waiting to be slaughtered on a table. You can't imagine it. Even if I die, I won't give you the Xianling. Murong Ranua let out a piercing cry, and a tremendous force suddenly erupted from his already powerless body, crashing directly into the courtyard wall. Even if she crashes, don't take advantage of this vicious mother and daughter. Ha <laughs> ha. With a disdainful sneer, the thin and weak figure rushing out was tightly imprisoned by an invisible force. Behind her, Lady Situ stretched her five fingers towards Ran Yu and pinned her in place. She then twisted and tightened her grip, causing Ran Yu to be violently pulled back to the ground and rolled awkwardly to the feet of Situ Yan's mother and daughter. Why wouldn't you obediently offer up the Xianling like that slut from your mother? Does resistance work? Madame Situ's voice was gentle, but her words were even colder than the cold wind at midnight. Murong Ranua looked up in shock and trembled her lips, saying, My mother. My mother has been. Yeah. Madame Situ nodded smugly and said, Your mother wants me to save you, but how can the spiritual stone treasures she presented alone be enough? She gave birth to you almost to death, so naturally she is powerless to resist me. Her mysterious spirit is now on me, uh -huh. She burst into a burst of smug laughter, finally able to express her secret that had been hidden for many years in front of the dead. You. You. I'm going to kill you. Moron Ranue's eyes were crimson, she hugged her hands forward, opened her mouth, and fiercely bit Lady Sidhu's leg. She has no spiritual energy in her body, even if she can't fight, she will fight to the death and bite off a piece of meat. Toast, don't eat, fine. Madame Situ snorted coldly. With the physical strength of her great spiritual master in the middle stage, taking a bite would not cause any harm or even pain, but being bitten by this dead girl would be a shame. I saw her whole body tremble with spiritual energy and Murong Ranyu instantly shattered her silver teeth, even breaking the bones of her arms that were holding her legs. Ah! Murong Ranyue let out a scream and passed out in pain, but her body was burning hot at this moment. Yeah! A clear and beautiful phoenix roar echoed through the sky, with a red light rising from the sky. A huge phoenix shadow appeared behind Murong Ranyu. Noble and domineering, with a contemptuous posture. Under the shadow of the phoenix, a hint of red shadow connects it to the back of Moron Ranua. Immediately after, a fiery red spirit beast egg appeared on the chest of the phoenix. Huofeng. It's the divine product Huofeng Xianling. Phoenix egg. Madame Situ let out a scream of surprise, and the immense joy made her voice change its tone with joy. 
The last time the divine product Xianling appeared in Shenwu Kingdom was a thousand years ago, when the founder of the Imperial Beast Gate awakened the divine product Qilin Xianling. God, how could this dead girl have such good qualifications? Not to mention the phoenix egg. Spirit beast eggs are extremely rare, and only a few exceptionally talented super geniuses have a very small chance of accompanying their own life spirit beast eggs while awakening the mysterious spirit. Compared to the later contract beasts, the original spirit beasts have stronger combat power and loyalty, which is a dream for all people of the Shinwu kingdom. Madame Situ was overjoyed, all of this belonged to her daughter. Yenner, hurry up, take the fire phoenix Xianling directly. Take the phoenix egg. Take the Xianling and look at which bone the Xianling illusion is connected to. As long as you take away this bone, it is equivalent to taking away the Xianling. The fire phoenix Xianling of this dead girl is connected to her back, just take her back. They must proceed immediately. The commotion of the birth of the fire phoenix Xianling is too great, and the entire Shuazhou city may even attract the attention of intentional forces within the Xinwu kingdom. Even if the backyard has specially arranged a isolation formation to prevent others from spying on their divine sense, it is still necessary to prevent anyone who cannot afford to offend them from not having enough patience to directly invade the harem. Okay, mom. Situ Yen was so excited that she trembled all over. Her eyes couldn't hide the heat and jealousy. She only awakened the intermediate Xianling at noon. How could this dead girl awaken the divine Xianling? Why is this dead girl so lucky? Oh, no, she's the lucky one. The fire phoenix Xianling and phoenix egg are hers. With this in mind, Situ Yan's movements under her hands became even more urgent. Ah! Ah! Even more brutal screams, Moron Ranua, who had fainted from pain, was once again awakened by the pain that penetrated deep into her soul. Feeling like my canthus was about to crack, my spine was being pulled out inch by inch watching Situ Yan's hands covered in her blood with a coquettish smile as she held on to her mysterious spirit and held on to the phoenix egg the line of sight became increasingly blurred until it became completely dark. She's not willing. Chapter 2 Unity of Spirits and Rebirth from the Fire you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In a desolate courtyard, Moron Ranyue's lifeless body was casually thrown into a dark corner like a piece of rag. Unexpectedly, a shallow orange red flame quietly burned on her corpse in the flames, the scars all over the body slowly disappear, huh? Suddenly, exhaling a breath, Ranyue's chest quickly undulated a few times, and her eyes suddenly opened. Looking at the full moon still hanging high in the night sky, I felt as if it had been separated from the world. She is Moron Ranua, and also Li Ranua. Moron Ranua lived in the small kingdom Shinwu, which was as numerous as stars on the Yunlan continent, and died from being plundered by the Xianling. Li Ranua lives on Earth, experiencing both the High Dot Tech era and the apocalyptic crisis. In the fifth year of the apocalypse, Li Ranyue and her elite team of 30.3 entered an important laboratory to search for confidential information when an explosion occurred in the laboratory. She died tragically at the age of 15. Opening my eyes again seemed like I had a very, very long dream. Her memories of two lifetimes are rapidly merging, and then she understands a fact. She is not a time traveler, but a divine soul that has been divided into two and finally fully merged into one. Ran you stood up, the flames on her body consciously gathered inside her, and the scars all over her body had completely disappeared. Even the entire spine that was taken away has grown back without any discomfort. Apart from silently recounting her extremely tragic experiences in a bloody robe, her whole body was like a new life. Phoenix's rebirth from the ashes is indeed true. Instead, it awakened her true Phoenix body. Looking towards the Sita mother and daughter in the nearby isolation formation, who were using their spells to quickly replace their bones, a cold light flashed through their dark, ink-like eyes as they scanned the moon. I have been deceiving her with all my heart and mind for so many years, just to seize her mysterious spirit. 
Is it really so easy to handle her things? Ran Yu's heart moved as several strands of green light fell to the corners of the courtyard under the cover of night, quickly taking root and sprouting. The emerald green vines quickly climbed and grew along the courtyard wall, ah. Mom, it hurts so much. It hurts so much. Ah. Under the spell of Lady Situ, the fire phoenix Xianling began to sink into Situ Yan's spine. Situ Yen immediately screamed in pain and instinctively wanted to struggle. But her body was imprisoned by Lady Situ, and apart from her head being able to move, she couldn't move any other parts at all. Yenner, you have to endure the pain. As long as you endure this, you will become the most dazzling person in the entire Shinwu kingdom and even the entire heavenly empire in the future. Situ Fu felt unbearable in his heart. If it weren't for the significant difference in levels between Yenner Xianling and Huofeng Xianling, they wouldn't be suitable for directly devouring them. There was no need for such a painful fusion of bones. She couldn't help comforting her, but her hands were not vague at all. Instead, she increased her spiritual power output, prompting the fire phoenix Xianling to melt faster into Situ Yan's spine. Ah! Situ Yan continued to scream in agony, with large drops of sweat sliding down her face and her lips already bleeding from biting. A faint smile curved from Ran Yu's lips, causing pain. Compared to her bone-picking pain, where does this go? Think about the soul inheritance that has emerged in the sea of consciousness after rebirth, and the invisible connection between Ran Yu and the fire phoenix Xianling, as she pinches the imprint with her delicate fingers. Ah, it's so hot. Ah. Mom. Mom. A more mournful scream suddenly rose, and Situ Yen felt a blazing fire burning her soul, causing her to gnaw at her bones and heart with agony. Yenner, hold on. You're just one measure away from success. Madam Situ was unaware and thought that her daughter couldn't bear the pain, so she frowned with heartache. At this moment, a red light flashed, and Lady Situ felt a burning pain in her palm. Immediately after, an orange-red flame ignited from Situ Yan's spine, following the spiritual energy in an unstoppable posture, and instantly burned onto her palm. Ah! What is it? Madam Situ let out a scream of pain and instinctively shook her hand. But Situ Yan was enveloped by her spiritual power and half floated in the air. With this flick, Situ Yan was thrown out and rolled to the ground. Situ Yan, who was half dead after falling, looked up ah. A piercing scream of fear broke out, and Situ Yen only saw Murong Ranua, dressed in terrifying blood clothes, standing in front of her in a pitiful and miserable state. The stunning beauty mask that made her extremely jealous was full of lifeless pale color, and her dark eyes were staring at her coldly ghost. Ghost. Ghosts. Situ Yan's voice changed in fear, and she desperately wanted to escape, but she was imprisoned by her mother's spell and couldn't move at all. An unprecedented despair enveloped Situ Yan's heart, as she watched with frightened eyes as Murong Ranua slowly lifted her hand, made a sinister gesture of wiping her neck, and then pulled out a smile at the corner of her mouth that was completely devoid of a smile, only frightening. Ah ah Situ Yan was so scared that her soul flew away, her mind went blank, leaving only constant screams. Yenner. Lady Situ, who was trying to extinguish the fire in her hand, took a cold breath when she heard her daughter's scream and looked over here. Murong ran you. At this moment, the flame in her hand extinguished, and she couldn't wait to retrieve Situ Yen, blocking her from behind and looking at Murong ran you in shock. Is it a person or a ghost? When I saw the normal shadow on the ground, I breathed a sigh of relief, calmed down, and let out a sharp sneer. Surprisingly not dead. Madam is not dead, how can I go ahead? Ran you also sneered, pretending not to notice the small gesture made by Lady Situ pretending to speak. Do you want to delay the final fusion of Situ Yan's fire phoenix Xianling? Hee hee this old lady thinks her actions are secretive, but she doesn't know that her connection with the fire phoenix Xianling has been established, and she has long been aware of her actions. 
It seems that the phoenix's fiery performance just now did not alert this old lady. Sharp teeth and sharp mouth. Madame Situ continued to procrastinate, with calculations hidden in her eyes. Just a little bit, the fire phoenix Xianling had completely merged. At that time, even if this little rabbit has great abilities, he will be powerless to turn the tide. Murong Ranua didn't speak, just looked at her, the corners of her mouth slowly curled up, what are you laughing at? Madam Situ was inexplicably flustered by her laughter. I smile. Ran Yu lengthened her voice and looked at Situ Yan's twisted face with great interest, sighing, tiger poison is not poisonous yet. Situ Madam is even more cruel to me. It turns out she is even more cruel to her own daughter. TSK, I admire it. I admire it. She could only offer 120,000 yuan of sympathy to Situ Yen. In order to prevent her from discovering any clues, Lady Situ directly imprisoned Situ Yan's mouth. Even if she was in pain, she couldn't cry out. This led to her being burned by the Phoenix True Fire, but her mother had no idea. Madam Situ, who had noticed something was wrong, turned her head and her face instantly changed, causing panic in her hands and feet. Why is there such a big fire? Just now, a small group made her feel embarrassed, and now Situ Yan's entire back is covered in flames, even with the blessing of her unconscious use of maximum spiritual power to cast spells. Situ Yan's face was twisted in pain, tears streaming down her face, her clothes burned out, and her skin was burnt black. Struggling still, unable to shout, unable to survive or die, wanting to faint but constantly being awakened by pain. Yen. Yena. Madame Situ trembled her voice and quickly took out a talisman with a chill from the storage ring to contain Situ Yen. Chapter 3. Your mother has not died. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The icy cold energy was released, instantly freezing the flames behind Situ Yen. Situ Yan's expression softened, but she had already passed out. Madame Situ looked at her daughter's miserable situation and turned her head to look at Ran Yu fiercely, her eyes splitting. Little rabbit, are you causing trouble? Are you harming my Yenner? Ran Yu sneered, and the answer was self evident. Madame Situ almost exploded in anger, waving her hand in frustration to remove the isolation array in the courtyard. She took a step forward to Ranyu and reached out to strangle her. Unexpectedly, before reaching out to Ranyu, a red light flashed past, causing severe pain in the wrist. At first glance, a dark color quickly spread out. Toxic. Humph, a little trick of carving insects. Madame Situ snorted coldly and directly used her spiritual power to dispel the toxin. Unexpectedly, my spiritual power couldn't be lifted at all. My body softened and I fell to the ground, unable to move at all. What did you do? Lady Situ was both surprised and afraid. How could her great spiritual master's physique be so easily poisoned? Well behaved, well done. Ran Yu ignored her and instead looked at the cannibal flower with five bright red petals on her wrist, praising her. She never expected that after being reborn, not only would the wooden powers of the apocalypse still exist, but even the contracted cannibal flower would still be on her wrist. In the apocalypse of five years, Xiao Hua ate all kinds of zombies and various poisons from major research bases. Her body was full of poison, and she was afraid that the world would never find anything more poisonous than it. That's it, don't see who I am. The cannibal flower is proudly swaying its head and head with two emerald green long leaves crossed over its waist, and the voice of an eight or nine year old child rustles in the consciousness of the moon. Murong Ranua, what have you done to me? Don't act recklessly, don't forget that I am your own aunt. Situ Fu, who could not receive a response, shouted angrily and was shocked to find that the poison on his wrist was rapidly moving towards other parts of his body. Wherever he went, his flesh and blood became stiff, losing their sense. My aunt. Ran Yu sarcastically recited these three words and looked coldly at Lady Situ. 
her mother had exchanged spiritual stones and treasures for a chance for her daughter's life. However, when this woman took her phoenix Xianling and killed her mother Xianling, she was so ruthless that she never thought it was her own aunt. What do you want to do to us? Madame Situ looked at Ran Yu's lukewarm gaze and felt anxious about her actions. She deeply regretted her impulsive withdrawal of the isolation formation and arrogantly believed that this dead girl was not threatening and did not release her contract beast. Ran Yu did not answer her, but squatted down and slowly pressed down on the bones of Lady Situ's arm and body. Madame Situ's face turned pale, and at this moment she still has something unclear. Murong Ranua is looking for the Xianling on her body. She wants to take away her mother's Xianling. But once Xianling is taken away, she will also perish. Found it. The rib in my heart was pressed down, and a plain sentence from Ran Yu seemed like a life threatening talisman from the King of Hell. Madame Situ was extremely anxious, and the toxins on her body were almost spreading all over her body. Now, apart from her head, only her left finger could barely move. Without considering anything else, she reluctantly crushed a messenger jade plaque in her sleeve. Murong Ranua, if I die, you won't even know where your parents are in your lifetime. The distress message has been sent out, and the rest will be delayed. Lady Situ stared at the eyes of Ran Yu and shouted indifferently. Do you still want to deceive me? Your good daughter has already said that my father and mother are both dead. Ran Yu's hand, which was about to break through Lady Situ's chest, paused, with red eyes and hatred in them. No. They're not dead. Yenner doesn't know anything, said Lady Situ hurriedly. Seeing her appearance, Lady Situ secretly breathed a sigh of relief, as long as she still cared about her parents. Ran Yu was taken aback and suddenly turned her head to look at Lady Situ, eager for confirmation. Really the toxin made Lady Situ's tongue start to stiffen, and in order to survive, she continued to desperately spit out words. Ran Yu squinted her eyes, as if pondering the authenticity of her words. Just when Situ Fu couldn't even breathe and thought he was going to die, he finally saw Ran Yu patting the little flower on his wrist. Little flower. The bright flowers of the cannibal flower suddenly stretched out, and upon closer inspection, their tiny stamens turned into incredibly sharp teeth, biting into Lady Situ's wrist. Ah! Cough! Madame Situ couldn't help but exclaim in surprise, and after holding her breath for a long time, she burst into a terrifying cough. After breathing a bit more smoothly, I realized that I could finally speak normally again, but it was only limited to speaking, and I couldn't move anywhere else. A faint light flashed in his eyes, this little rabbit was too cautious. At first, your mother and I were collectively referred to as Murong Shuangshu, but... Madame Situ thought for a moment and said slowly. Just at the beginning of the conversation, it was interrupted coldly by Ran Yu. Madame Situ, my patience is limited. Madame Situ's words fell silent, her eyelids drooped, and she forced a smile. Okay, to make a long story short, your mother was not killed by me. After I plotted against her, she was saved by your father. Do you think I'm foolish? If I lie again, I'll burn Situ Yen to death. Ran Yu sneered and raised her fingers slightly. The flames that had just been frozen by the magic weapon behind Situ Yen immediately rose up, even directly igniting the magic weapon that was covering Situ Yan's head. In an instant, it turned into a pile of ashes. Do you really think that holding a magic weapon can freeze the phoenix true fire that can burn everything? Innocent. Ah, ah. Mom, help me. Help me. It hurts so much. Cousin, please spare me. I was wrong. I was really wrong. Situ Yen woke up with a mournful cry, trembling all over. Her pretty face twisted with pain, and her gaze towards Ran Yu was no longer aloof, but filled with fear. Stop it. I'll say it. I'll say it. Madame Situ is really scared now. She only has Situ Yen as her precious daughter in this lifetime, and she dare not hide it now. Your mother really didn't die, 
she was saved by someone. Ran you looked at her, her calm and calm eyes like stagnant water stained with ink, dark and gloomy. Lady Situ only felt a cold breath coming out of her feet and rushing straight to her forehead. She couldn't help but reveal all the words she had intended to hide. But I really don't know who saved her. She was investigated before, but no trace was found. Now that so many years have passed, I don't know. She dared not say the remaining words. After Morong Yunj was rescued by someone, she was worried and worried for a long time. She also sent people to investigate for a long time in private, but as time went on, she estimated that Morong Yunj might not have survived at all. After all, she was already on the brink of death at that time, but she dare not say these words now. Continue. Your father. I only know it comes from a very mysterious place. When my sister found me back then, she was about to give birth and was seriously injured. You, who gave birth to you at all costs, didn't reveal much information. As soon as the words were spoken, Lady Situ felt a strong killing intent that pierced her whole body. At this moment, she deeply regretted why she had not controlled herself before, thinking that this little slut was bound to die. She proudly revealed her secret that she had hidden for so many years in front of her. Chapter 4 Bye, are you touched? You are listening at NovelFull.audio So, take advantage of my mother's desperate efforts to give birth to me, exhausted, and take away her mysterious spirit in her life. The sound of sweeping the moon emits hatred, with a blazing flame burning in my heart. I wish I could burn the person in front of me completely, shattering my bones and raising ashes. You were, I. I was wrong. If you spare me, I will definitely help you find your parents. Lady Situ's heart was cold and she hurriedly begged for mercy. She felt that Ran Yu's gaze at her at this moment was like that of a dead person, and those eyes were like the eyes of a lone wolf, fierce, decisive, cold, and with a madness of destroying everything. Go to hell. Ran the moon word by word, gritting one's teeth. The phoenix on Situ Yan's body burned fiercely with a loud roar, instantly turning her into a big fireball and enveloping her tragic cries. Lady Situ didn't have time to feel heartbroken. The toxins that had just been controlled on her body were once again gathering in her head. In just a short moment, her lips and face were all stiff, except for a pair of eyes that could barely move. Bold maniac. Dare to act recklessly in our city mansion. A majestic shout came from afar, like thunder piercing through one's ears, and the moon's throat and eyes were tingling with blood spilling from the corners of one's mouth. Master Situ is here. The suppression of the realm from the spirit king, with just intimidation, has already caused her injury. Madam Situ's eyes burst with strong hope, and the master of the house has arrived. They mother and daughter have been saved. Ran Yu raised her hand and wiped away the bloodstain from the corner of her mouth. She met Lady Situ's eyes, which couldn't hide her joy. Her eyes, like a cold pond, sparkled with a destructive light. Madame Situ froze and a thought rushed into her mind amidst the lightning and fire. No. No. No she wanted to shout, but couldn't say anything. She could only watch as Ranyu broke open her chest and took out a section of her bright white sternum. Despite losing consciousness all over her body, she still felt the excruciating pain hitting her bones it's her mysterious spirit. Lady Situ has died. The kind of person who dies without closing their eyes. Ranyu didn't even look at her face, pulled down her storage bag, picked up the box containing phoenix eggs, and ran away. Situ Fu has arrived, don't run and wait for death. A crimson light rushed out from behind Situ Yen and rushed directly into her arms. It is the Fire Phoenix Xianling that she was taken away from. As soon as the Fire Phoenix Xianling left, the Phoenix True Fire on Situ Yan's body immediately extinguished. At this moment, her whole body was scorched black, and her anger was as strong as a thread. Even the excruciating pain of the Fire Phoenix Xuanling's departure was powerless to groan. Her spine was already damaged, 
and she was burned into black charcoal by the phoenix true fire. For her, who longed to become stronger and loved beauty, it would only be more painful than death. She's useless. Ran you petals on the wall tiles, flipping over the wall in a skilled and swift posture. This courtyard is at the very edge of the city mansion, and climbing over the wall leads to the exit. Stop. There was another loud roar, and the pressure fell heavily. Not good. Ran Yu's heart tightened, the speed of the spirit king was so fast. But with a quick reaction, he jumped directly off the wall and quickly swept towards the darkness. She was fast, and Situ Fu's speed was even faster, approaching in an instant. With a wave of his hand, a small wind blade struck towards the back of Ran Yu. How dare Ran Yu forcefully take on this level of attack? With a flick of her finger, Situ Yan in the courtyard was wrapped in green vines and ran straight toward Situ Fu's attack. Situ Fu, your daughter has returned it to you. Yena. Situ Fu was shocked and saw that the attack was about to hit his daughter. He quickly waved out a spiritual energy to scatter his attack and catch his daughter. As soon as his hand touched it, he suddenly felt something was wrong. He lowered his head and saw that Situ Yen had almost no human form, making his face turn pale and almost ready to bite. He gritted his teeth and growled softly, Moron Ranyue, how dare you! And Ranyu took advantage of this gap and had already fled far away. Situ Fugong wanted to pursue, but he heard Situ Yen make a sound. Mother! Mother! Situ Yan's voice was as delicate as a mosquito or fly. Situ Fu's face changed, and he suddenly remembered his own wife. He quickly fell into the courtyard holding Situ Yan and saw Situ's wife lying on the ground, covered in blood and with a big hole in her chest, unable to close her eyes. Madam! Situ Fu's eyes were about to crack, and it was only one night. His daughter was seriously injured and on the brink of death while his wife was separated by life and death. Send the order and comprehensively apprehend Muron Ranue. No matter what. Muron Ranue. I will surely dismember you in countless pieces, shatter your bones and expose you to ashes. Ah! The spiritual power at the level of the spirit king surged wildly around Sitifu, and a wild aura rushed out in all directions with his angry roar. The entire Sita mansion was almost half collapsed by the earthquake no one expected that at this moment, Ranyu, with the cover of the grass and trees in the city, had successfully left the city gate and arrived outside the city. The mountains outside the city are stacked with lush vegetation. As soon as you enter the mountains and forests, it is like water droplets merging into the sea for the moon. Her woody ability perfectly blends her breath with the mountains and forests, without any leakage. Rushing into the deep forest, the moon was not delayed at all. Ling Wang has too many unknown methods, and she cannot guarantee that she will be foolproof in the forest, only to go deeper. In the courtyard, she left some gifts. As long as the members of the Situ family enter again, even without her ability to command, the mutated green vine covered in small flower special poison powder will definitely give them an unforgettable lesson. At this moment, the danger of life is temporarily resolved. It's night. On the huge tree, in the dry hole of the tree, Ran Yu was lying there. She ran tirelessly for a day and a night, and her physical strength had reached its limit. Fortunately, after awakening, the true phoenix's body had amazing recovery power, even recovering from the internal injuries she had previously suffered from the pressure shock. She is checking the contents of Lady Situ's storage ring. There are three thousand lower-grade spirit stones, tens of thousands of gold and silver in the secular world, and some rare treasures and small magic treasures. But a small wooden board that was out of place with other things caught her attention. Upon taking it out, there was a complex and strange pattern carved on it, which was incredibly light in hand and almost imperceptible in weight. Attempting to ignite the flame with a phoenix, not only was it completely undamaged, but a very intimate feeling of blood connection surged up in an instant. Ran Yu sat up in a moment. This is something belonging to her parents, it must be. Suddenly, 
a sound of fighting quickly spread from far to near. Before Ran Yu could react, with a loud bang, a huge force suddenly hit the big tree. Ran Yu was so shocked that she fell directly out of the tree hole. Fortunately, she reacted quickly and wrapped her falling body in green vines, otherwise she would have fallen from the tree. Ran Yu looked down and saw two giant beasts fighting. A white lion as big as a bull with a snow-white body and a colorful python. If a cultivator sees it at this moment, they will definitely be surprised. These two are the top lords in this dense forest, the seventh order top dot grade monster, the poisonous and colorful python, and the seventh order swift white lion. Just now, the white lion was hit by a python and hit this tree. At this moment, the white lion's right front limb was bleeding with black poison, struggling to get up. Its paw scraped a few times but could not move, indicating that the poisoning was not mild. And the giant python's cold vertical pupils glanced at the uncontrollable white lion, winding around the giant tree and swimming upwards. Obviously, compared to the white lion, which was already a cooked duck, it wanted to swallow the tender and juicy moon in one bite. Hiss. Hiss. The python made a heart-stopping sound and quickly approached the moon. Rangue raised her eyebrows slightly. Does she look like a weak little dim sum? But she hasn't had a seizure yet. The little flower on her wrist, which was also awakened, has become furious and awakened it and Yaya. Do you still want to eat Yaya? Who gave the bare bile of this python? Ha! At the next moment, Xiao Hua jumped out of Ran Yu's wrist and stood on the tree. Five bright red petals trembled and grew in the wind, suddenly elongating. A bloody mouth appeared out of nowhere, and before the python could react, it had already been swallowed by Xiao Hua, Hiccup. After swallowing the python, Xiao Hua humanely touched her flower stem with a leaf and belched. Then, the bright red petals swayed towards the big white lion. The big white lion who witnessed this scene lay trembling on the ground. Ran Yu originally wanted this big white lion to roll away quickly, but then he thought to himself, hey, isn't this a ready dot made mount? If you have a mount, you don't need to rush on two legs. So, Ran Yu welcomed the amber like clear yellow round pupils of a white lion and said with a smile, Dubai, we saved you. Are you moved? The big white lion stared at the little flower, indicating that it was really afraid to move. Ran Yu continued to ask with a smile, Dubai, do you want to come with me? Come with me, eat delicious food and drink spicy food. Big White Lion Chapter 5 Although you can snatch it, fortunately, your heart gave you gold. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Two days later. Ran Yu appeared at the entrance of Yongfeng City, holding a mini white creature that had transformed into the size of a cat, happily stroking its fur. The little flower stood on the forehead between Big White's two round ears, fluttering in the wind, as if it was a small red flower growing on the little cat's head. No one would have imagined that the swift white lion, which had frightened many cultivators, would obediently lie in the arms of Ran Yu as Rua. Dubai said he heard the monk say that a quadrennial sect election will be held here tomorrow. The sect has been passed down for thousands of years with numerous records, and it is uncertain whether she can find clues to some small wooden plaques in the sect. So they came. A bunch of people are piled up by the city wall at the entrance, not knowing what they are looking at. Ran Yu took a glance at the situation and immediately frowned. That is a wanted notice. A portrait of a woman was drawn above, and below it was written. Murong Ranyue, 15 years old, is a person from Shuazhou City. He killed the mother of the Shuazhou City mansion, seriously injured his cousin, and took away the fire phoenix Xianling. He also harmed several elders of the City mansion using extremely cruel methods, and everyone was executed. This wanted notice is hereby issued. If anyone knows, the City mansion will reward him with a thousand tails of gold. Captor, a bounty of ten thousand tails. The signature is from Shuazhou City. Situ Prefecture. Fart it. Even though they took away the fire phoenix Xianling from you, 
they still have the face to distort black and white and slander you. Xiao Hua listened to the person next to her reciting the notice, so angry that she shouted in her awareness of the moon. She had seen someone shameless before, she had never seen someone so shameless before. You also harmed several elders of the Sita mansion, I'm sorry. We haven't even seen each other. Xiao Hua was about to say that none of them had seen the elder when she suddenly remembered that there were also poisonous green vines in the courtyard. Obviously, an elder in the Sita mansion had been attacked, and she shook her leaves with joy. Why didn't you kill Sita Fu? Ran Yu's face was also very ugly. She didn't feel anything about the content of the notice, and there was nothing she couldn't write about the disgust of the Sita mansion. However, was Situ Fu out of money? What kind of ghost did the painter you found paint? An ugly ape monster with a withered face, messy hair, and low eyebrows and eyes. If it weren't for the name below, she wouldn't even know it was her. With so many predecessors wanted, she just stood here with such a big bang, and no one recognized her. Ran Yu entered the city speechlessly, and the guard at the city gate even glanced at her with a notice, waving to let her pass. As one of the selected cities for the secular world by the sect, Yongfeng City is not only larger than Shuazhou City, but also bustling countless times. There were many people on the long street, and Ran Yu looked at the bustling crowd in front of her. Various sails and cheers intertwined into a long-lost atmosphere of human fireworks. Murong Ranyue from the Sita mansion has never even left the mansion gate, let alone in the apocalypse. People's survival is difficult, and there is no such a magnificent scene. Oh, the people of the Longyang sect have arrived. Someone next to suddenly exclaimed in surprise. As Ranyu took the opportunity to look, at one end of the long street, eight green-clad attendants riding a third-order wind wolf opened the way, with the word, Zong, embroidered with silver thread on their waistbands. Behind them was a treasure cart pulled by six snow-white horse-shaped monsters with auspicious clouds on their feet. The appearance of the treasure chariot is exquisite and luxurious, with a hint of brilliance and luxury. It is very luxurious. A grey-robed old man with sharp eyes and a rigorous face stands in the front room of the treasure chariot, followed by three carriages much larger than ordinary carriages, and even more so are the blue-clad attendants riding wind wolves. TSK, the show is quite impressive. It was as if Lu Lao Lao sighed in secret as she entered the Grand View Garden, admiring the moon. Once I see it, I can't help but sigh. I am truly one of the five great masters of Longyang, and I am rich and powerful. Yeah, the third level wind wolf serves as a mount for the attendants, and the fifth level Shang Yun pulls the carriage with his horse. I'm so envious. Shang Yun carriage, it seems that the leader this time is the miss from the Zong family. I don't know which miss it is. Passerby people were discussing, and Ran Yu took a glance and withdrew his gaze. His eyes lit up as he gazed at the diverse snack stalls, taking a deep breath of the air filled with the aroma of food. Tears of displeasure flowed from the corners of his mouth. Snacks. She hasn't had any delicious snacks for a long time. What a well-behaved cat, Zongbua, I want it. A proud and overjoyed voice came from the treasure car of the ancestral family. Okay, Miss San. The figure flashed, and the grey-robed old man who had just been in the front room of the treasure car stood in front of Ranyu. Great spirit master. With a flash of moonlight in their eyes, cultivators are divided from beginner level into spirit master, spirit master, great spirit master, spirit king, spirit sect, spirit emperor, spirit zoon, and even the legendary spirit saint. Each realm is further divided into six levels. Early stage, middle stage, late stage, perfect stage, great perfection, and peak. This person's strength is between that of Lady Situ and Lady Situ Fu, probably either the great spirit master's great perfection or the pinnacle. My third miss at home wants this cat. Let's make a price. Zong Bo glanced at Dubai, who had a small red flower on his face, with a faint tone and a haughty tone. Not for sale. Ran Yu quickly declined, 
and as soon as he moved his steps, he was about to walk past Zone Bo, hindering people's meals and causing lightning strikes. Little girl, I advise you to think carefully before answering. Zongbo squinted his eyes dangerously and his voice was slightly muffled. What's going on? Are you still trying to grab it hard? Ran Yuma raised her eyebrows. Just because she doesn't cause trouble doesn't mean she's afraid. With just his old physique, he's not big enough to slap him. He's a top dot quality monster that can deal with the existence of the War Spirit King. The passers-by around were already secretly paying attention here, and upon hearing this, they looked at each other strangely. The Zone family wants to grab something. I don't think so. Before the Zoneman election, private fights were prohibited in the city, otherwise the eligibility for election would be cancelled. Impossible. I haven't seen anything good in the Zone family before, so there's no need to grab it. Shu, keep your voice down, if you dare to talk about them, it's not worth it. Although I dare not speak loudly, there are many whispers. Zone will listen to the discussion of these people, his face slightly changed, his chin tightened, and he squinted dangerously at Ranyu. When has the Zone family been discussed like this? It's all because of her. But it is not possible to act in front of everyone's eyes. If this incident causes the Zone family to be disqualified, it will not be worth the loss. As long as she is still in the city, even if this cat is placed in foster care with her, it is not too late to take action after the election. You've been overthinking it, since it's not for sale, let's just. Zong Bo maintained his composure, and before he could finish telling her to leave, he heard the arrogant female voice coming from the treasure car again. I'll give you a hundred tails of gold to buy your cat. Not for sale. Pooh. I think she's dreaming. I want to buy a seventh level premium demon beast for a hundred tails of gold Xiaohua was very disdainful. Even though she could snatch it, she kindly gave away a hundred tails of gold. Five hundred tails, pay with one hand and deliver with the other, don't be too greedy. The arrogant female voice said impatiently. Without waiting for Ran Yu to agree, a money bag containing a golden ticket shot towards Ran Yu from the treasure car. Ordinary people may not feel it, but they can feel a strong wind blowing in front of them. The money bag was filled with a bit of dark energy, which would not cause immediate death, but would damage the internal organs and cause pain and wailing for a few days before dying in pain. This third miss is malicious enough, obviously impatient and prone to arrogance and anger. Just because she refuses, she forcefully buys and sells, and even tries to harm her with dark energy. Chapter 6 The Beginning of the Patriarchal General Election You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ha ha. Miss Songsan, Yongfeng City is not your Longyang. It's not good to force buying and selling. A warm breeze gently blew the money bag back into the treasure cart, and a playful and clear male voice with a smile came from far and near. Dubai's paw, which was about to be photographed, shrank back and continued to cling on to the arm of the moon with no attachment. Its fur was almost bald. Its white fourth young master. Someone in the crowd exclaimed in surprise. Ranyu looked over and saw a young man in white stepping on the wind, with a green silk tied in a white jade hairpin. The white headband hanging on top of his head fluttered in the wind, and his fair and handsome face carried a clear and youthful smile. What a charming young man. Fourth young master. Fourth young master. There was a constant stream of people greeting, and the fourth young master by responded with a friendly smile. White fourth young master. Upon seeing this person, Zongbo respectfully arched his hand and silently retreated to the front chamber of the treasure cart. For years without seeing each other, Zongbo's demeanor surpasses that of the past. The boy's voice was warm, and he always wore a shallow smile that made people feel good about him. The fourth young master praised falsely. Zongbo still just arched his hand, with no unnecessary expression on his face. Ran Yu looked at the expressions of the two and speculated in her heart that these two families should be rivals. Looking at the one surname Zong, 
she had both impatience and fear in her eyes, and didn't even bother to be polite. By see, you're doing me a bad job again. Miss Zong San in the treasure car pulled the car door and shouted angrily at Prince Bai Si. Lin Lang Peiyu, with a graceful skirt flying, even though her delicate and charming face may appear a bit fierce due to anger, Zhong Ling Yu, who was pampered by a big family, is not comparable to ordinary people. I dare not, it's just that the Bai family is responsible for the security before this election. Bai should fulfill his duties and responsibilities without taking responsibility. Please forgive me, Miss San. It seemed as if he hadn't seen Miss Zong San's unpleasant face, but the white fourth young master still smiled warmly without any concession in his attitude. Miss Zong San opened her mouth as if she wanted to get angry, and Zong Bo coughed lightly. Miss Zong gritted her teeth and didn't know what was going on. She endured it again and viciously gouged out the fourth young master Bai and Ran Yu. In the end, she threw her wide sleeve, snorted coldly, and sat back in the treasure car. The fleet is starting again. As Bai Sigom watched them leave, he turned to Ran Yu and arched his hand with a smile. Miss, unlike us from Yongfeng, she must have come from a long distance. Recently, the population in the city has been busy, so it's better for you to return to your residence as soon as possible, he said after speaking, he glanced several times at Dubai, who had already started snoring slightly, and then said, there are many little pets in the city recently, and they are easy to run around. Miss, you should keep an eye on them. Okay, thank you. Ran you masturbated Dubai, nodded earnestly and obediently, and finally said sincerely, you're really a good person. Isn't it a good person? Miss Zong San used his sleeve to shake off the traceable and toxic poison powder on her body. He then used his hand to blow the powder away and specifically reminded her to go back early, keep an eye on Dubai, and avoid the Zong family coming to trouble her. Where can I find such a kind little brother? Bai Sigong was taken aback for a moment. Everyone thought he had such a natural disposition, but when he spoke so loudly, this girl was the first. Miss, it's good to have fun eating. Bai Si still has a task to attend to, so I won't disturb you, he said with a smirk, goodbye. Ran Yu waved his hand, and when Bai Sigong saw her strange posture, he smiled and turned around to leave. She was really a strange girl. He's not a good person. He blew away my snacks. Xiao Hua angrily shouted in Ran Yu's mind, it hasn't had a chance to taste fresh yet but it was poisoned and blown away by this white fourth young master, so angry. All right, don't be angry, let's start immediately and let you eat enough. The snack stalls on the whole street are waiting for their favor. The next day. Ran Yu arrived at the location of the Zongmen election early on. At a vast circular square in the center of Yongfeng city. Register her identity information at the entrance, take her identification card, and walk in. From afar, she was attracted by the huge platform that had risen up from the ground in the square, which was the location of all the sects. The high platform seems to be a huge circular city wall, dividing the huge square into two parts. Test the spiritual routes outside the high platform, and after passing the test, enter the inner circle for sect assessment. At this moment, the people from the sect had not yet arrived but the people waiting outside the square were already a sea of people. Tens of thousands of family children and eligible children in the town were eagerly anticipating it. Everyone looked up at the high platform, their eyes filled with deep longing and endless longing. When? In the air, a ethereal and distant bell suddenly sounded, and the lingering sound lingered for a long time, like a fairy sound, clearing everyone's minds. The sect immortals are here. Someone whispered, and the bustling square suddenly fell silent. All eyes were excited as they looked up at the sky. The blue sky rippled like water waves, and countless disciples of different sects dressed in different attire rushed out with swords, like shooting stars pulling their tails across the sky, roaring through the sky above everyone's heads and straight into the high platform. The platform, which had just been empty, was instantly shrouded in a cloud and mist that rose from an unknown source, drifting indistinct, 
making it impossible to see inside. Ran Yu's eyes were bright, and there was a surge of grandeur in his chest, which made his heart beat with excitement. This is the flying of the imperial sword. She had seen it in novels and television, but the scenes she portrayed were not as shocking as those she had witnessed with her own eyes. They were all scenes from her imagination, with a breathtaking and imposing aura. The election is starting. With a loud announcement, a simple stone pillar gate appeared out of nowhere in four directions. East, west, north, south, with a transparent sphere hanging above it. All candidates can test their spiritual roots through the spirit testing gate. As long as there is a spiritual root, the spirit ball on the door will emit a colored light, and the stronger the spiritual root, the brighter and clearer the light. The spiritual roots in the cultivation world are mainly composed of five series of attributes. Gold, wood, water, fire, and earth. In addition, there are three rare mutated spiritual roots. Wind, ice, and thunder. The most popular type of spiritual root is the single attribute spiritual root, which is called the heavenly spirit root. Its cultivation speed is amazing, and none of them are the key objects of competition among various major sections. Ran you didn't rush to test, but instead circled around the periphery. At this glance, a clear difference is evident. Large families and towns have their own sects as their backers, and they also have cultivators. Most of the people sent to run for election have spiritual roots. However, there are not a single hundred people sent from small families and some small towns, and the pass rate cannot be lower. Why do sects choose seedlings in the mortal world? Xiao Hua asked in surprise, there must be many more children with spiritual roots in the cultivation world where the sect is located than in the mortal world. Why does the sect still collect disciples from the mortal world every four years? Probably. Most of the big shots come from the secular world. Ran Yu felt lost in thought, and according to what she had learned in the past two days, 70.8 out of 10 soaring giants in history came from the mortal world. Ha! Huh. Bai Si and Zong San also need to pass through the spirit testing gate. Yu Yu, let's go see what kind of spiritual roots they are. Chapter 7 As soon as you lift your hand, I'll lie down. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Seeing the acquaintance, Xiao Hua immediately became interested. Ran Yu walked over and saw that the other members of the Zong and by families had already tested. On the other side of the spirit testing gate, there were 15 members of the Zong and 13 members of the Bai families. The people of the Zong family are overjoyed, while the Bai family is somewhat depressed. Yesterday at the inn, I heard someone say that the Bai and Zong families have always regarded each other as competitors. Every time the Zongman election is held, the number of selected children is compared to determine the mining rights of a mining area at the junction of Longyang and Yongfeng. On this side of the spirit testing gate, there are only white fourth young master and Miss Zong San left. From this perspective, in terms of quantity, the Zong family is guaranteed to win this time. In the sect election, those with cultivation below that of a great spiritual master can also participate. As long as they pass the sect trial, they can directly become the inner sect or core disciples of the sect. Miss San, please come first. White fourth young master smiled and took a step back, letting Miss Zong San go first. Miss Zong San glanced at him and unconsciously raised her head, with a hint of condescension in her eyes. Stepping into the spirit testing gate, the soft water blue light poured down. Longyang City Sect Tianjiao, Water Spirit Root, Pass. The disciples of the sect who read out the spiritual roots were taken aback, and then excitedly announced loudly that one out of ten thousand heavenly spiritual roots has come out of Yongfeng City this year. Zong Tianjiao held her head high, revealing a smug smile, and slowly looked around at the people around her, as proud as a peacock. The family kept her talent hidden for so long, and finally it was time for her to shine brightly. They won the mining area this time. She looked proudly at Bai Sigong, wanting to see disappointment and envy on his face. Unexpectedly, the fourth young master only smiled slightly, 
showing no surprise at all. Instead, he arched his hand and sincerely congratulated, congratulations, Third Mississippi. This is not the reaction she wants. Zong Tianjiao's proud smile paused, as if she had punched cotton. I couldn't help but give White Fourth Young Master a fierce cut and hate to walk back to my own family's team. But she wasn't in a hurry to enter the inner circle, she wanted to see what kind of spiritual root Bai Si was. The people of the Bai family became even more nervous, staring closely at their fourth young master. White Fourth Young Master remained calm and walked past the spirit testing gate. In an instant, a dazzling and pure blue light emanated from the spirit testing pearl. Mutant Heavenly Spirit Root A sudden cry of surprise came from the motionless high platform, and the quiet clouds surged. Ran you seem to see a figure standing up excitedly. It is difficult to choose a Tianling root from thousands of miles, and even a mutated Tianling root cannot be selected from thousands of miles. Even top-tier major sects cannot remain indifferent. Eternal. White Mucan of Yongfeng City, mutated wind spirit root, passed through. After a while, the shocked disciples of the sect finally came to their senses and exclaimed excitedly. There was an uproar on the square, and many people rushed over to see the legendary mutated heavenly spirit root. You're actually a mutated wind spirit root. You're really keeping it a secret. Miss Zong San clenched her hand into a fist in her sleeve, her nails piercing into her palm without realizing it, and she gritted her teeth in hatred. Damn the Bai family. Damn Bai Mukin. She should be the one who caught everyone's attention today. She should also be the one who strives for the glory of the mining area for her family. Why did Bai Si come to ruin her affairs again? No wonder he just had a calm expression on his face, afraid that he had already laughed at her in his heart. I flatter you. White Fourth Young Master remained neither humble nor arrogant, not even changing his smile. Ran you couldn't help but laugh. They didn't praise you, they wished they could kill you. This smile immediately caught the attention of Bai Mukin and Zong Tianjiao. It's you. Zong Tianjiao had no place to vent her anger, and the smile of Ran Yu instantly lit the explosive bucket. Especially when I saw Ran Yu holding her in her arms and yesterday seeing a big white cat that I really liked but refused to sell to her, my heart was filled with new and old grudges. With a lift of my hand, I was about to do something about the moon. Who knew that Ran Yu looked at her with a smile on her face, Miss Zong San, you must think carefully before you start. As soon as you lift your hand, I will lie down. This is still under the eyelids of the sect. They explicitly prohibit fighting in the general election of the sect, but you still want to take action. Do you want to use the face of the sect to trample on death? Consider them dead. The white fourth young master, who was about to extend his hand to help, was taken aback at the words. With his outstretched hand, he clenched his fist against his mouth and coughed lightly. A genuine smile flashed through his eyes. Zong Tianjiao dared to lay down if she dared to do so. This kind of rashness made him feel completely disgusted, but he found this girl quite interesting. You. 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 You wait for me. Zong Tianjiao stubbornly stopped the attack, raised her finger to Ran Yu, and her chest quickly rose and fell in anger. It took her a long time to slow down, and she stared at Ran Yu with a gloomy expression, a clear killing intent flashing in her eyes. Okay. She will hold on for now, and after the election, she will see who can save her. You can tell what she's thinking by looking at her expression in the moonlight. With a cold sneer in her heart, she's just too lazy to do anything. There are ready dot made rules here that can make her lazy for a while, so there's no need to work herself out. Otherwise, relying on her as a spiritual master level person would want to kill her. Qingting hangs to death, Phoenix burns to death, Dubai has a full meal, or let Xiao Hua poison to death. There are four ways to die, choose freely and generously. However, Bai Sigong looked at her with some concern. Fighting is not prohibited after the election. Her pet indeed has some strange aspects that he did not notice 
but she herself is a mortal without spiritual fluctuations. If she really falls in love with a giant like the sect, she will definitely suffer. Girl, are you also here to take the test? White fourth young master asked in surprise as he saw Ran Yu walking towards the spirit testing gate. Ran Yu let out a sigh and handed her identity card to the disciples of the sect next to the spirit testing gate. Then, she lowered the bai to the ground and prepared to pass through the spirit testing gate. Hee <laughs> hee. Just rely on her. Dream. Zong Tianjiao made sarcastic remarks and showed disdain beyond words. Everyone has thought about the spirit testing gate, but she really doesn't know the superiority of heaven and earth. I advise you to quickly take this cat. Ah. How could it be? Zong Tianjiao was originally going to continue mocking, but her eyes were hurt by the dazzling red light suddenly emitted by the spirit ball, and her voice couldn't be controlled and changed pitch. The red light seemed like a blazing flame, blazing brightly. Is she also a heavenly spirit root? How could it be? Surprisingly, another heavenly spirit root has emerged. Someone on the high platform was unbelievably whispering. Just as he finished speaking, a strong green light poured down from the spirit measuring ball, emerald green and clear, and the red light just now occupied half of the wall of the spirit measuring ball. Wood spirit root. Double series spirit root. This was not over yet, followed by a burst of purple light. The rich and pure purple forcefully occupied one side of the spirit ball with a domineering posture, and the entire spirit ball was evenly occupied by the three colors, emitting pure light. Mutant spirit root, thunder spirit root. The most domineering spiritual root. The square was completely silent, even the people on the high platform were silent, a situation they had never encountered before. Chapter 8 The bamboo shoots on the mountain have been seized by moon and moon. You are listening at novelfull.audio. How? How could it be? Shouldn't doling and have weak spiritual light, mixed colors, and dim colors? How could it be so pure? The most domineering railing and did not dominate, but the three types of railing and were evenly matched and clearly distinguished. This not only unprecedented, but also unheard of. The disciples of the sect who declare their spiritual roots are dumbfounded. How should he declare this? The three spirit roots are indeed the three spirit roots, but the strength of each of these attributes is even stronger than the heavenly spirit roots of sect Tianjiao just now. How can we calculate this? He looked up at the high platform, hoping that the people above could give a hint. But I saw the clouds and mist rolling like boiling water above, as if the people above were also discussing fiercely, without even paying attention to him. Scattered person, Li Ranyue, fire, wood, thunder. Three spiritual roots, pass through. The declaration of the spiritual root attribute is very hesitant, and the disciples of this sect are not sure themselves, but it is definitely correct to pass it. Ran Yu used her post-apocalyptic name during registration to avoid trouble due to the wanted notice at the city gate. Miss Lee, congratulations. Bai Mukin took a deep look at the spirit measuring ball, genuinely happy for Ran Yu. At the very least, Zong Tianjiao can't do anything to her after the election. With such a strong three-spirit root, the sect is equally popular, but it's unclear which sect Miss Lee will choose to go to. Thank you. Ran Yu was actually quite surprised. She had a wooden ability to detect the wood spirit root, which was not surprising. After rebirth, having a true phoenix body detected the fire spirit root, which was not surprising. However, how did the thunder spirit root come about? Is it difficult to say that the body of this world itself is a railing in? You you, you are really amazing, you have three spiritual roots. In my mind, Xiao Hua and Yurong thought that their spiritual roots were the same as their abilities in the afterlife, and the more they were, the more powerful they became. How could she possibly have spiritual roots? And the strength of the spiritual root is even higher than her heavenly spiritual root. Zong Tianjiao muttered to herself in disbelief that the blow she had suffered today was quite significant, completely overturning her usual pride. 
Miss Lee, come in together. By Mukin extended an invitation to Ranyu, and there was also a sect assessment inside. Although those with cultivation and those without cultivation were not in the same trial, it did not prevent him from forming a good relationship. Ran Yu readily agreed. Stick the identity card onto the high platform wall, and the moon shines in front of me. I have already reached the inner circle. The inner court is also very large, with hundreds of people already standing inside, waiting for the next trial. In no time, a voice full of pressure came from the high platform. Congratulations to 741 people present for passing the preliminary selection. Next, we will conduct your first pre-entry test. Without a word of nonsense, as soon as they finished speaking, the scenery in front of everyone changed, and they were already standing in front of a white stone staircase that extended upwards and had no end in sight. The stone steps are about 20 meters wide, and beyond them, they are shrouded in thick fog. Trial Steps Someone in the crowd shouted and led the way towards the stone steps. He was like a signal, followed by more people rushing up. Ran Yu saw that the children of the big family around her were not in a hurry to move forward, and she was not in a hurry either. She first observed and observed. From the moment they stepped onto the stairs, their steps became noticeably heavy, as if an invisible pressure was being exerted on them. As they advanced, their steps became heavier and slower. Starting from the tenth step, some people were bounced off the stone steps and fell into thick fog. The trial steps test one's character. Everyone will be suppressed into a mortal before the stone steps. There is extremely strong pressure around the stone steps. Those below the twentieth level can only become miscellaneous disciples, those above the twentieth level can become external disciples, and those above the fiftieth level can become internal disciples. If they can reach the eightieth level, they can become core disciples. The higher they go, the greater the pressure. By Mukin explained to Ranyu beside her, and even jokingly said, Miss Lee, it's possible that Bai will have to rely on you to pull her. Ha ha. Don't worry, young master Bai. I will drag you up as long as you don't mind ruining your elegant image like this. Ran Yu was also joking, and deep down, she was very grateful. If Bai Mukin didn't say it, according to her laziness, it was very likely that she would be too lazy to climb halfway. But I also know that if you want to enter the sect to check information, naturally the higher your identity, the more things you can see. Sick. Zong Tianjiao impatiently scolded and walked up the trial ladder. I'm sick, do you have medicine? Ran Yu received it very smoothly, and Zong Tianjiao, who had easily reached the eighth level, was taken aback for a moment. Then, her body shook and she almost retreated from the eighth level. She blushed and gave Ran Yu a sinister glance, but she didn't say a word out of reason. She continued to bury her head on the stone steps, but Ran Yu noticed that she had taken three more seconds to complete the next step. So, if one's mentality is affected, it will affect climbing this stone step. Ran Yu was masturbating with Dubai, his smile deepening. In this case, Zong San needs to be careful. Beside her, Bai Mukin watched her smile and then glanced at Zong Tianjiao, whose gaze was on the moon. He inexplicably felt as if Zong Tianjiao was going to have bad luck. Bai Gongzi, let's go too. As she spoke, Ran Yu stepped up the stone steps with one foot. Strangely, she didn't feel any pressure, just like the ordinary stone steps. Dubai also jumped out of her arms and rushed up the stone steps. Miss Lee, this little pet is a bit special. Bai Mukin pointed to Dubai, who had not been bounced off the trial ladder. Hee hee. Ran Yu smiled, it goes without saying. High quality demon beasts can advance, but they just need chance. Looking at Dubai's eager expression, climbing the trial steps is definitely beneficial for him. During their conversation, the two of them had already surpassed most of the first to climb the stairs, many of whom were bouncing off the trial steps and falling into thick fog. By Mukin's footsteps were faster, and Ran Yu let him go first, while he walked slowly and leisurely. 
When she reached almost 50 steps, she saw Zong Tianjiao standing at the 50-step station. Zong Tianjiao seemed a bit tired, her footsteps were not as relaxed as they were at the beginning, her breath slightly panting, and Dubai was two steps behind her. Miss Song San, come on. Dubai is watching you from behind. Ran Yu encouraged with a smile, and Zong Tianjiao turned his head in shock. Dubai squatted on the two stone steps behind her, his round eyes staring at her. For some reason, she seemed to see contempt in those eyes. Immediately, with a graceful sweep of her big white tail, she jumped up and easily surpassed her with two easy jumps Zong Tianjiao. She covered her chest, feeling a bit angry. Previously, when Bai Si surpassed her, although she felt unwilling, she felt normal. Now, even a little beast dares to despise her. Raising her foot again, Zong Tianjiao's face slightly changed, and the pressure on the stairs increased. As she took a deep breath to adjust her mindset, to her surprise, Ran Yu had already climbed to the same level as her. She sincerely encouraged her and said, Miss Zong San, continue to work hard, I am waiting for you ahead. Then he effortlessly surpassed her and continued to climb upwards. Zong Tianjiao. Ah ah ah. She's so angry. She's so angry. She's showing off. She's definitely showing off. The anger in Zong Tianjiao's heart was like adding fuel to the fire. She wished she could immediately catch up and go to the front of Ran Yu. Unexpectedly, if her feet slipped, her whole body would be thrown out. She was shocked in her heart, not good. Quickly taking a few deep breaths, suppressing the anger in my heart, but also sliding down five steps in a row, finally able to stabilize my body. The original 50 levels have changed to 40.5 levels. Who? Who? Zong Tianjiao was panting heavily, afraid to think recklessly anymore. As she walked up, the pressure on her body suddenly increased, and there seemed to be countless people pushing her out on the trial steps, each step being difficult to take. You you, you are too bad, ha ha ha. The little flower trembled on the big white head, and the bamboo shoots on the mountain were taken away by the moon. It was clear that the other party disliked her the most and deliberately stimulated her repeatedly. Sometimes, the blow did not come from the enemy's malicious words, but coincidentally, such seemingly encouraging words were actually showing off. This Li Ranyue, intentionally. Destroying people's mood, his heart can be punished. On the high platform, a light mirror reveals the scene on the trial staircase. Chapter 9 My junior sister's insights are truly extraordinary. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Elder Yu of the Wanhua sect slapped the table in front of him with a fierce slap, causing a well-functioning table to instantly split into pieces. The disciples of the sect are the designated disciples within their sect. With Zong Tianjiao's talent, the core disciples are a definite thing. However, being stirred up by Li Ranyue, they may only be able to barely become the inner disciples. More importantly, if she affects her state of mind on the trial ladder, her future cultivation path will definitely be affected, and even develop a mental demon. Li Ranyue's move is really too ruthless, clearly to cut off Zong Tianjiao's path of cultivation. Why was she wrong? Elder Wu of Xiantian sect shook his head disapprovingly and said, with a broad mind and no past grievances, in my opinion, it seems that Zong Tianjiao's character is a bit lacking. The path of cultivation is bumpy and bumpy. Without a firm belief, how can one go further? Unable to bear the heavy responsibility. The Mingxin sword sect, dressed in black, caught a cold glance at Zong Tianjiao in the mirror with his sword in his arms, making it clear that he also didn't care. Yu Changchi's aging has been boosted, and his well-maintained face has twisted. Are these dead men blind? Can't you tell that Li Ranyue has ulterior motives? He he, keep watching. Elder Su from Xingqin Pavilion stroked his beard and smiled as he made a comeback. Elder Wu, congratulations to Xian sect for adding another rookie, the mutated heavenly spirit root. Seeing it makes me itch, why not? 
Before he could finish speaking, Elder Wu interrupted him with a chuckle. Before leaving, the leader's senior brother's precious disciple made a thousand promises to take his younger brother back as soon as possible. The meaning is very simple. By Mukin, don't think about it anymore. His brother is already waiting in the sect. Cough, understand, understand. What I mean is, you see how much you've gained this time, this insignificant little girl from the three spirit roots, why don't you argue with us? Elder Su rubbed his hands. The Bai and Zong families were both internally determined, and his goal had always been Li Ranyue. As soon as these words were spoken, Yun Shue Luo, the elder of the ethereal palace, and Soa Wugue all looked towards Elder Wu. It was obvious that they were all interested in the moon. Only Elder Yu blushed with embarrassment. With such strong spiritual roots, she also wanted to bring back the sect. However, she just spoke out and cursed at them. Elder Wu chuckled and didn't speak. He was still an insignificant three spirit root, why didn't you take notice of the other three spirit roots? Go find someone so insignificant again. It's impossible to let it go, don't even think about it. That kid from the Bai family seems to have a good relationship with the little girl. He's not panicking, and his chances of winning are much higher than theirs. The rest of the small sects who were unable to speak could only eagerly watch as four of the six major sects present began to snatch people, one unable to argue, the other everyone's gaze carefully turned towards the position of Chi Bailey, the senior sister of Ling Yun sect, who was also from the main sect. She was a demon god, and as a female cultivator, her weapon was a mysterious iron divine hammer weighing tens of thousands of pounds. A hammer could knock people to the ground but couldn't even pick them out. In previous years, this person would just collapse into a chair and close their eyes to rest until the end, but this year, they should also sleep from start to finish, right? Every election is like this, never accepting a disciple to return to the sect, and I don't know why Ling Yun sect comes every time. Hmm. Wait a moment how could this demon be awake? The hearts of the members of the Xiaozong sect trembled, and they turned their heads in unison. They sat upright, not daring to sweep any more light over there. Chi Bailey didn't care about them, her eyes shining as she looked at the moon in the mirror. She seemed to have seen the little junior sister in her dream. Exquisite appearance and well-behaved personality. He is very kind to his friends, and his smile is soft and sweet. Fight back on the spot against the troublemaker, without any fear or weakness. It's completely her dream junior sister who enters reality. Thinking about the annoying junior brothers in the sect, Chi Bailey shook her head and didn't even think about those annoying things. No, she needs to turn the junior sister back and wash her eyes. The four big shots are still competing, and there have been changes in the light mirror. After surpassing Zong Tianjiao, Ran Yu didn't know how many steps she had taken until she saw Bai Mukin. At this moment, Bai Mukin no longer had the warm smile that had been hanging on his face. He stood on the stone steps, looking at the endless stone steps above that still couldn't be seen, his face full of doubts. Bai Gongzi. Ran Yu looked at him, why is he standing still? Bai did not see you wrong. Bai Mukin was not too surprised to see Ran Yu catching up with him, and it seemed reasonable to expect it. Why hasn't the young master by left? Didn't you remind her earlier that the higher she wants to go, the better? Bai was thinking, where will my life lead to? Bai Mukin still looked at the unknown path leading to the stone steps, his face full of confusion. Ran the moon with black lines all over your head, young man, you have suddenly become so artistic and sad from a sunny big boy. How can I answer you? I can't answer you this question, but all I know is that in this lifetime, one should have the courage to make a decision without regret, as well as the determination to overcome obstacles and move forward courageously. No one knows what the future holds, but what happens. I don't lack the courage to start over. Okay. On the high platform, with a clear shout, Elder Wu thought it was him who blurted it out. Unexpectedly, the others around him looked back like ghosts, and he mechanically turned his head. Chi Bailey, 
who had always been ignored by them, stared at the light mirror with her eyes fixed on it, so excited that she stood up with a proud expression on her face. My junior sister's insights are truly extraordinary. Junior sister. Who? A few people looked at each other, glanced at Chi Bailey, and then at Ran Yu where her gaze was. I suddenly became anxious. Wait a moment. This is still in the election, why is it your junior sister? Do you want a face? Are you speaking rationally? Did they agree? They looked at the Xian Iron Divine Hammer held by Chi Bailey's hand, and finally swallowed and chose to shut up. The people of Lingyun's sect are all crazy. Unlike the other five major sects present with countless disciples, Lingyun's sect only has six masters and disciples, but in the entire cultivation world, don't provoke anyone. If you provoke others, you can still reason. If you provoke Lingyun's sect it is estimated that people in the cultivation world nowadays dare not forget that the elder of the Luoxia sect, who was originally ranked among the major sects, offended the person in front of Chi Bailey. Chi Bailey swung his iron hammer and knocked him directly from the highest Luoxia peak of the Luoxia sect into the mountainside, unable to extract him. However, when the Luoxia sect came to their door to argue, they were severely beaten by the people of the Lingyun sect. From then on, the sect plummeted and fell out of the list of major sects, becoming a third-rate small sect. Lingyun sect is the only special sect that ranks among the major sects with the power of only six people. Elder Wu and the others looked at each other and couldn't argue with Chi Bailey, which didn't mean they couldn't convince Li Ranyue to join their sect first. As a mind-wise person who had reached the 98th level, it was impossible for them to give up. Chi Bai Lily was too lazy to bother with them and continued to look at the light mirror. Upon hearing Ran Yu's words, Bai Mukin lowered her head and remained silent for a while. When she looked up again, the confusion on her face faded away, leaving only a moment of clarity. Her eyes also became resolute, I understand. Turning around, he bowed deeply to Ran Yu and said, Thank you, Miss Li, for pulling by so hard. Ha! Ha! You figured it out yourself. Ran Yu smiled awkwardly, she didn't expect to get through to him. What she said was just her own attitude towards life. Bai Mukin was not saying anything, just keep this kind of kindness in mind. He never expected that his self-proclaimed magnanimity would be trapped in the final questioning. No wonder Miss Lee was able to walk up so easily. With such a firm and opened-up-minded heart, she was on the trial ladder like walking flat. The two of them took another step up, and the endless stone step suddenly disappeared into a platform, with a sect disciple standing on it. See two people and a cat. The smile on the face of the disciples of the sect stiffened for a moment, and as they watched Abai jump back into the arms of the moon, it was a storm of pupils. How could a pet pass through the trial ladder? If Ranyu told him that there was not only Dubai, but also a cannibal flower, I don't know what he would think. After calming down, the disciples of the sect raised an uncomfortable smile and said, Congratulations three. You two have passed the trial ladder. Next, you two will each undergo the second trial. Isn't it together? Ran you looked at by Mukin in confusion. This test illusion is different for those with cultivation and those without cultivation. Seeing that she didn't understand, Bai Mukin once again clarified his doubts. Although the general election of the sect does not restrict the participation of cultivators below the great spirit master, for the sake of fairness, different trials and illusions will be arranged. Chapter 10 The Little Junior Sister Swinging People Like She's Swinging a Big Hammer You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Two swirling entrances appeared behind the disciples of the sect, with Ran Yu and Bai Mukin entering one on the left and the other on the right. But just as Ran Yu entered, the Bai in her arms was bounced out by an invisible force. The Bai reacted quickly and twisted in the air, then fell onto Bai Mukin's shoulder and disappeared with him at the entrance of the illusion. The disciples of the sect looked shocked. The illusion will distinguish whether the entrant has cultivation. If he still doesn't understand that Dubai is not an ordinary pet at this time, 
then he is really foolish. The scene before Ran Yu changed. In front of me was a darkness, with the moon and the sky covered in a layer of dark clouds and only a faint dim moonlight. Surrounded by a forest of houses, she was standing in the dark corner of a building. The surroundings were very quiet, so quiet that one could clearly hear her rapid heartbeat. This place. Looks very familiar. Murong Ranua, I will shatter your body into countless pieces. Angry explosions erupted in the night sky, and a violent aura surged out in all directions. I'll go, Situfu. Ran Yu's heart skipped a beat, and he ran away as soon as he could. Full range indiscriminate attack, hiding is meaningless. The house collapsed behind her in patches, and the screams from the ruins were particularly piercing in the cold night. Countless people who woke up from their dreams panicked and fled outside the city. Situ Fu disregarded the human life of a city in order to find her. Is he crazy? The fact proves that he is crazy. Situ Fu crazily attacked those people whose backs resembled those who were sweeping the moon. The attack was fierce and deadly. The moonlight wood type ability flowed throughout her body, and the scent of grass and wood perfectly concealed her. Following the shadow of the house, she quickly arrived at the city gate. As long as you step out of the city gate, you can escape from Xingtian. But looking back at Ranyu, Situfu was even crazier at this moment, as he had already directly massacred a large area. The howling sound rushed straight towards Ranyu's eardrums. Ranyu gritted her teeth, turned around, and ran in the opposite direction of the crowd. She never claims to be a good person, but she cannot sit idly by and let innocent people be implicated by her. On both sides of the street, countless green vines began to grow wildly as she ran. Situfu. The clear voice was not prominent among the mournful cries, but Situfu in mid-air heard it. He turned around and a fierce smile appeared on his already insane face, I see you. The body is like an electric shock, arriving in an instant. Just as he was only a few feet away from the moon, a green vine rose up in the air and swiftly twisted toward Sitifu, wrapping him in a tight vine cocoon. She cheated. In front of the mirror, Elder Yu of the Wanhua sect looked at the green vine twisted toward Sitifu with an unpleasant expression on his face. Using a false name first, clearly possessing cultivation but impersonating an ordinary person to enter the illusion realm later. If it weren't for this clear-mind illusion projecting the most fearful moment in the tester's heart, we would all have been deceived by her. The other elders looked at each other in disbelief, and in the current scene, it's hard to justify not having any cultivation. Is there a problem with the illusion? This girl has a noble character, even though she knows she is invincible, she still stands up for strangers. I don't think she is this kind of person, retorted Mingxin Sword, Sek Soa Wugue. Chi Bailey sneered coldly and looked at Elder Yu with her hands clasped around her chest. When I was planting flowers, my mind also got planted. What's wrong with my pseudonym? Who doesn't have many pseudonyms while walking outside? Will my junior sister enter the cultivation and enlightenment illusion? That little lion didn't get inside. The swift white lion is good enough to deceive the young cultivators, but it can't hide from the eyes of these few of them. It's obvious at a glance. Elder Yu was scolded, but he dared not speak up. His charming face turned red, and his fist in Yun's sleeve tightened again and again. Forget it, she didn't argue with the madman. In the light mirror. Situ Fu sneered coldly, carving insects is a small skill. With his arms outstretched, the green vine snapped in response, and he grinned and grabbed the moon with one hand in claws. The momentum is unstoppable, and one strike is sure to kill. However, just as he was less than an arm away from Ranyu, a white and slender hand lightly grasped his wrist, tightly clasping it, making him unable to move. Under the moonlight, Ranyu's stunning face revealed a brilliant smile, you're a fake, what are you crazy about? After speaking, he swung his arm and grabbed Situ Fu's wrist, directly smashing him to the ground. Bang, I can't really beat you, can't I beat you, this fake. 
Bang, aren't you quite capable? You're still killing a lot. The sound of bang 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 Outside the mirror, everyone looked at the unburned incense stick in front of them with different expressions. After a long time, Elder Su from the Star Pavilion touched his chest and said, How did she see through the illusion? You should know that everyone who enters the illusion will be confused by the illusion, thinking that they are truly in the situation at that time. To break through the illusion, either they must overcome their inner fear or recognize that this is the illusion. The girl said those words, clearly seeing through the illusion. How could this be possible? Unless. Her divine sense is very strong. Elder Wu shook his head again as he felt it was impossible. This kind of strength is beyond the power of illusion, and he cannot achieve it, let alone a mortal without even spiritual power. A few people exchanged a glance, their eyes full of determination. No matter what the reason is, the baby bumps that can break through the illusion of enlightenment so quickly are even more wanted. Chi Bailey also liked it more and more as she looked at it. She didn't care about whether her divine sense was strong or not. The way the little junior sister swung people was like her own precious hammer, which was pleasing to the eye. Unconsciously rubbing her hand against the mysterious iron divine hammer that she had been following for many years, the young junior sister must also be proficient in wielding the hammer. How about? Give the young junior sister a pair of hammers as weapons. In the future, I will take my junior sister and sisters to swing people together. How arrogant! How imposing! Thinking about that scene, Chi Bailey couldn't help but laugh happily from the bottom of her heart. Startled several other sect elders to feel uneasy and unsure of what evil she was holding back. At this moment, the scene inside the light mirror shook a few times, and suddenly it was pitch black. The scene in the illusion was no longer visible. What's going on? Chi Bailey stood up abruptly and rushed to the light mirror with a swift step. She turned her head sharply to look at Elder Wu, and it was their Xientian sect who provided the testing illusion. No. I don't know. Elder Wu felt a wave of evil energy rushing towards his face, and his tongue suddenly felt a bit uneasy. He quickly reached out and pinched the formula to hit the light mirror, but no matter how much he input spiritual power, the light mirror remained pitch black. Elder, it's not good. The voice of the sect disciple who had received Ran Yu on the trial staircase came from Elder Wu's message board. The illusion. The illusion is out of control. So. Those selected disciples are all trapped inside. Upon hearing this, everyone was shocked and rushed towards the entrance of the illusion. The disciples selected this time were the most talented in history, not only with heavenly spirit roots, but also with mutated heavenly spirit roots, as well as the special three spirit roots of Li Ranyue. However, nothing should happen. I saw that the two vortex entrances, which were originally at a certain distance, had already approached or even begun to merge, and the spiritual energy at the entrance was chaotic and violent. The disciples of the sect who had been guarding here before had blood on their arms and had already avoided them from afar. Is the illusion merging? Someone exclaimed in surprise, and everyone's faces turned ugly. Mirage fusion is not common, but it has not happened before. After fusion, the illusion is likely to turn into a violent and shattered space. Not to mention the people inside, even a single grain of gravel will be torn into dust by the violent spatial power. Quick, let's take action together and suppress the fusion of the illusion. Elder Wu finished speaking and stood in front, injecting spiritual power into the entrance of the illusion. Chi Bailey didn't say anything and stood directly behind Elder Wu, placing her hand on his shoulder and Sua Wugue on his other shoulder. Everyone else stood behind them, one shoulder resting on the other, forming a triangle and moving back. 
all spiritual power is transported forward to Elder Wu's body, where he suppresses the fusion at the entrance of the illusion. With the help of everyone, the entrance has stabilized, but it is still slowly merging. No, at this speed, the illusion will completely merge in at most one hour. Elder Wu frowned. If the illusion can be cracked within one hour, there is still hope for it to come out. If not everyone understands that if it can't, then it will stay inside forever. Just one hour. It's too short. Since the opening of the trial illusion, the fastest person to step out of the illusion is also two hours. 